Well, folks, you asked and we deliver. Well, More, gr <laughs> More Grateful 42 videos. And what do we have this time? Memorial Day shopping spree because I have no self-control and New Egg had nice sales. Yay! First, we have a Corsair water cooling solution, the H100i. Yay. And you'll see why we need that in a minute. 16 gigs of G-Skill Sniper 1866 memory. Sadly, they only sent me one shipment of this. <laughs> was it Tiger Direct? No. Oh. New egg. If it was Tiger Direct, you would have gotten, like, 128 gigs. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't complain. <laughs> A really, really high-end AMD motherboard. A 990 FXA UD7. So that should be fun to take a look at. And the creme de la creme. The AMD FX9370. It's shiny. It doesn't even come with a cooler because they want you to buy one of these. <laughs> and it's a 220 watt processor. So that's ridiculous. Just to say the least. And this is what we're going to be playing with today. This is going to be fun. I can tell already. It's going to be fun. <laughs> well, that's confirmation enough. Let's get started. <laughs> so now we're going to take a look at the H100i. I have the box open here. Here's the water block. Here, <laughs> off thermal paste. And that, of course, is attached to a big black radiator. It's awesome. Lots of awesome. <laughs> Alright, what else is there? Fan number one. Fan number two. The USB header cable thingy no bobber. Pump power, I think. This bracket. mounting bracket. I know one's Intel. I don't know which one comes pre-attached. And lots and lots of screws. Yay. So we're going to figure out how the hell to put this together and then come back. <laughs> well, what we've done already is we've installed the uh, radiator uh, to the top of the case. But that's not that interesting because we, all we did was just screw some fans in and stuff. It does look sexy, though. Yes, it does. <laughs> Here's the part of the project, and this is the big, big motherboard. This is one of a few motherboards that support the uh, 9000 series CPUs. So this 9370 will be going into this particular board. Focus. Focus. It's all got ultra durable for. You can get a window to look at the motherboard just to tease you. Like a peep show. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all Japanese solid caps, all the usual uh, stuff. It supports four way SLI and four way crossfire, which is crazy. Looks like it's pretty good onboard audio. Dual BIOS, which is typical in a, um, Gigabyte boards. It's got the debug display, on off charge, which is nice. And this graph, oh man, the pink one's slightly higher, so it's better. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because of the driver MOSFET. But it's just a, a nice motherboard overall. So nice I like it has the high gloss box. <laughs> yeah, it's really shiny. <laughs> Suddenly, three hands. Oh, comes in like a suitcase, practically. For easy stowage on airplanes. Yes. <laughs> so, you can, so you can bring your build to land parties in Georgia or something. No one has land parties in Georgia. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, anyone from Georgia. I'm sure you have land parties. <laughs> and here we have oh, the motherboard. So sexy. Look. At all those PCI X16 and X8 X4 slots. There's just one lonely PCI slot down here at the bottom. Well, they gotta give you one. I mean, what if you have a modem? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might need to connect to Juno <laughs> or Prodigy, you know. It's got. This is why it supports the four way SLI and four way crossfire. Just look at all this crap. That's insane. Mm hmm. Heat piped all the way from the uh, VRMs through the North Bridge, South Bridge, whatever that is. North Bridge to the South Bridge. Good job. 
And I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Four RAM slots. <laughs> it's got a brand new battery. It's got all the typical stuff, which is really nice. I love how they color and label the ports now on motherboards. Yeah, Gigabyte. It is so awesome. Gigabyte does a really good, nice job with that. It makes life so much easier, especially with these front panel connectors. Yes. They're so annoying. I wonder if I get a Meeper, a little PZO speaker I can plug into this board. Probably. I would assume I so. There. So let's take a look at the front I.O. So you get quite a bit of sound here, but all, the only one anybody really ever uses is stereo anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Ethernet, USB, USB 3, USB 2. Looks oh, like does that have... it's an eSATA port. That's a FireWire port, which is nice to see. Yes, FireWire is coming back, baby. Yeah, well, maybe not, but... <laughs> I can dream, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> then there's this, which is like a red USB port thingy. I don't know what that is. More eSATA. Coax for uh, digital audio and, op and, um, and then Toslink for digital audio. PS2 and more USB. So quite a bit of I.O. on this board. It's a nice board. So this will be the heart of the project. So we'll be installing everything in this board and we'll show you just how sexy it looks and, and what his computer was supposed to be in the first place. Supposed to be. But then, but now he has money, so it's okay. <laughs> Having a job helps. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> the thing that I love about the H100i, though, it came with this bracket that mounts directly to the pre-installed... Uh, backplate mount. Yeah, there is. Do there. I don't. I don't need to touch or remove anything from the motherboard to attach this H100i. It is completely like you just. It works. And that's perfect because you don't really have to. You don't have to futz around with removing. Um, that little shit. Get out of there. Friggin'. What'd you find? Jumping spider. Hey, little guy. What are you doing? Hey. Uh, hey. Pff. Hey. Where'd he go? Under the box. Oh, there he is. Look at him. I'll get him. Look at him. Look at him. Ah, spider. Look at this little spider. Hey, 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 hey. In the bag. I got him. You have a spider in a bag now. My life is complete. <laughs> Upon taking out the accessories, we found out that there is a bridge board here for uh, uh, SLI. And just look at that. Look how many ports are on that. That's insane. Three-way SLI bridge. Dicks. <laughs> and of course, there's more than that. There should be another breakout board. Yeah, there is for four-way SLI. Oh my god. Oh, here's two-way. Here's this SLI. That's just a regular SLI cable. Okay, there's a crossfire cable. Crossfire. Crossfire. And we got another... Bunch of SATA cables. Another crossfire cable. The backplate, which we definitely need. The manual. I wonder if they still give you the CDs. Yeah, of they course do. they do. Yeah, they do. Cool. CDs aren't dead yet. No, they're not. I don't want them to be dead. I like, <laughs> I like these. Oh, and you get stickers. It's not like we have holographic storage yet. Dolby Home Theater, because stereo speakers. <laughs> Boy. And a Gigabyte sticker. So I'll leave those in the box. Yay. I'm gonna sticker up this case so good. It's gonna get so sticky. <laughs> That's messy. <laughs> That's messy. The board has been installed in the machine, and oh wow, does it look nice in there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. We've also put the CPU into the motherboard. Might help if I face that the right way. There you go. There you go. 9370, I think, right? Yup. Yep. There's the water block. 4.7 gigahertz max. Oh. Yeah, 4.4 gigahertz base. Yep. 4.7 max for turbo. I never use turbo. And there's the uh, radiator, and there's the hoses that go to the water block. And next we'll install that after we put some Arctic Silver on the CPU. And the build is coming together quite nicely. We're just plugging stuff in. I like plugging this in here. Oh, wrong way. There we go. All right. 
power is now attached to the water block pump. Here's the water block, by the way. Looking sexy. That's nice. Onward and onward. Let me... All right, we have this mostly together. Check it out. Look at that. Yeah, that's everything. It's just a s slow overview of the entire system here. The cables look a bit derpy, but that's all right. Still got the old graphics card in there. XFX 850 watt. <laughs> there you go. All the back planes are all good. And we are ready to turn this thing on and see what it can do. Well, we have it all back together and we're about to test it. Let's do this. I won't press the button. Okay, you press the button. My freaking button. Okay, you press the button. Three, two, one. Smoke test! No, 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 no. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. I did. The joys of building a computer, guys. Uh... Wires in the fan. All right, this time we're gonna power it on with the cover off because we're not stupid. The problem was all of these fan wires were getting eaten by my fan that blows air on the back of the motherboard. Yep, so we had to take care of that. So, here we go. Try... Smoke test number two. Oh, he turned it off. Oh, that might help. I'll give it a few seconds. It's good, you can turn it off. Kill it. It's coming from the top. I know. Ow. I think. Got it. Oh, just rubbing wire. Yeah. Stick it in the RAM. Be, uh... No, just push it. I'll just push it to the down. <laughs> push it to the down. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. Fuck. Do it again. Finally. Let's see if we can get to the BIOS. There we go. Posted. Look at that Corsair thing to light up. That's so cool. I can change the color of it in uh, OS. And here we are in the typical Gigabyte BIOS you see on these motherboards. RAM is running at 1333. You gotta change that. I think it's 1866. Stream memory profile. Turn that on. Yep. There we go. Does it have a uh, temperature readout for the CPU? Can you take a look yes, at it that? does. Uh, it's at 28C. 25C. It'll climb. So it's, oh, oh so shit. So this thing is definitely doing its job. It's keeping it at a pretty good idle temperature. Well, we're going to set the BIOS up so that it actually boots the drives and be good to go. Well, this thing was definitely upgraded here. You got your 16 gigs of RAM and you got your 4.4 gigahertz AMD 9378 core processor. Well, it had 16 gigs before, but now it's 16 gigs and two sticks rather than four. Yeah, now it's upgradable to 32 if you choose. Look, look at all that. that. Nothing's really <laughs> changed here, but look at all that. Look at all that. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Windows Experience Index. Yeah, the fans rev. <laughs> it has enough airflow when it revs to actually levitate things. Because <laughs> now there's four fans pushing out of my <laughs> top. <laughs> God. Be free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so derp. And this is the old Windows Experience Index. 5.8 for the CPU, 7.2 for the memory, 7.9 and 7.9 for the graphics, and 5.9 for the hard drive. What we want to look at is the processor and RAM that's going to change, so I'm going to refresh that, and we'll show you what it gets. Yeah, yeah. Holy upgrade, Batman! Mm. It went from a 5.8 to a 7.8 on the CPU, and a 7.8 on the RAM. It's running at 18, 1866 as well. So I think this is going to be one hell of an upgrade from Grateful 42 here uh, for quite some time. This is one beefy system and one of the few boards that can run it too. Definitely approved. Definitely. Was this successful? Oh yeah.
this is successful. this is what I wanted to start with, but you know, it's taken a few years to get there, but we finally got there. Yeah, and we will just let the beast run. You enjoyed the video.